Good evening. Let me share with you Tiffany's story. Tiffany is 47. I delivered her, her kids. Actually, they're 22 and 18. Last one just went off to college. She's been married 23 or so years. She came to my office and she said, and of course I know and love her husband, Justin, and she said, Dr. Jackson, I don't get it. I love my husband so much, but why is it I don't want to have sex anymore? You know, I want to be there, I want to be there for him and I really love him, but I just lost that loving feeling. And if any of Tiffany's, this symptom, or if some of these other symptoms occur to you, I mean, occur in your life, you can do this, go from here, or you can go like, girl, yeah. So, <laughs> Tiffany also said, and look at my body. She said, I look like, I look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You know, I work out every day. Why can't I lose weight? What happened to my shape? Where did I go? And she said, and sleep. God, I can't sleep. When have I had the last good night of sleep? And my memory, my focus, I forget everything. Sandra is 57 to 61. Sandra called me one night, because she's one of my girls. And she said, okay, Gail, she said, I'm walking out of my house into my swimming pool. The only problem is, it was an October night. She said, I'm tired of not being able to sleep because I'm just sweating all night. I'm tired of having, carrying a fan to match each one of my outfits <laughs> when I get, <laughs> hint, hint, a few of you in this room, and, uh, when I get up and have my, and I perform or I present, you know, to my board, she said, I am out of control, I'm sweating. You know, I just have my makeup done, my hair, like why? In my practice, with all my credentials, you heard them. I'm on, I'm on staff at Cedar sinai Medical Center. I'm board certified by the American Board of Obstetrics and Gynecology. There was nothing in my curriculum, nothing in those books that armed me with information to help Tiffany or Sandra. So I was not happy because I had to help my patients and selfishly, when it was my turn, I wanted to have something safe and healthy for me. So I, this is all Western medicine I was familiar with and I knew there had to be something out there and there is. It's a branch of medicine called integrative medicine. So once I got into the world of integrative medicine, my goodness, there's literature everywhere about bioidentical hormone balancing made from yam, testosterone, how important that is for women, um, estrogen, how you can take it safely. Because what were your choices? Artificial hormones? And you have to read, you, if you want to feel better, you've got to accept the symptoms in the label. Breast cancer, heart disease, strokes, or bioidentical hormones. And I believe I have a size. So bioidentical hormones, just to share with you, if you're not familiar with them, and most of health practitioners are not because I have all the credentials and I had to do the research, but I did it for you. So they're made from yam. They're individually dosed according to the patient's needs and desires. All the hormones that you need, which is estrogen and testosterone, you can't even find testosterone at CVS through artificial um, and synthetic hormones. They're available. No side effects, does not protect you from breast cancer. It can't, it can't erase that family history. It can't erase all those horrible things you've been doing for years, but it's not gonna increase your risk. And it's not gonna increase your risk of any of the female cancers, specifically the breast and the uterus, and it's protective of the heart. Keeps your bones nice and long and strong. So when I became more familiar with, about bioidentical hormones, then I said, oh my God, first of all, what was available is you go to the compounding pharmacist once a month and you end up with a bag, an expensive bag of stuff you gotta take and peel and warm and, and rub and whatever all day long. My God, who has time to do all that or remember all of that? So then we became familiar with bioidentical hormones. What did I do? I'm missing. Okay, it's missing. 
Okay, bioidentical hormones in, in the form of pellets. Thank you, there it is, woohoo. Okay, this is, now you can follow me. So the reason we love bioidentical hormones, first of all, they make a lot of sense. They're small, they're soft, like a cooked kernel of rice. I place them painlessly underneath, underneath your skin in the hip area, your little thong line, so I get you beach ready, bikini ready when you're ready. And um, they go directly to the target organs, directly to those receptors. So which means anytime you take anything by mouth, it's got to be coated, okay? To go down to the stomach, through the intestines, finally to where it's got to go, and oh my God, you've got to add so much hormones because just think of how much you're going to lose on the trip and how, what you've got to do to get it to the target organs. So because it bypasses the stomach and the liver, it requires less hormones. To me, always less is better. It's predictable, dependable, and guess what? I'd rather see you at a party because you only come and see me two to three times a year. And, um, and this, this, this uh, method is far less costly, and there's no product to tote around. So if you're going to be um, going on a plane or something with your little youngster, you know, you don't have any open up your bag. <laughs> okay, you don't have to explain, no, this is not birth control pills. <laughs> so nothing to explain, and that should be written there first, right, ladies? Okay. There's not one day that passes that someone says, oh, man, that menopause stuff, I've done all of that stuff. Well, guess what? Oh, thank you, someone turned it. Okay, why don't you just help me? <laughs> there are long-term benefits of hormone balancing. So women in their 40s, like Tiffany, they usually have the uh, irritability, mood swings, low libido, weight gain, fatigue, difficulty sleeping, memory focus. Yeah, I got some hands around the room. Okay, as they get into their 50s, almost 49 to 52, they come screaming and running into my office like, okay, what is all of this? I am burning up. You got to do something today. Then they get towards 60-ish, et cetera. Then they say, all that stuff, I don't need that stuff. But guess what? There are long-term benefits. They're important to me. First of all, prevention of dementia and Alzheimer's, especially in our community, protects your heart and your vascular system, maintains your long, strong bones. You know, all my girls, our daughters are about the same age. We used to be the same height. I'm still the only one up there. I like my height. <laughs> They're like, how'd you get Okay, so you don't believe in it, okay. Um, so it protects against osteoporosis. And it, ma ma it maintains a healthy digestive organ and it maintains a bladder, good bladder and vaginal health. So the story with Tiffany, so Tiffany is now Miss Hottie in the bedroom, long and lean and sleeping well, <laughs> always ready to have sex with Justin. But guess what, we don't just balance Tiffany, we also balance men, testosterone only. Because we can't let that, we can't ignite, let Tiffany be the only one hot in that bed, right? <laughs> Sandra runs her meeting. She's impeccably dressed. She's on it because she's gotten a full night of sleep. She's focused. She's on it. She's looking fabulous. She can wear her designer suits, her hair and makeup, always on point. So Tiffany and Sandra are fabulous. You also can be fabulous. Thank you.